from the Magic Mud Pie Studio. It's so important to honor your child's creativity, their artwork. So we're going to talk a little bit about displaying artwork and how it can happen within your home. Um, I have a lot of different artwork that was made over the years. I'm a mom of three kids and so I have a lot of frames, a lot of artwork all over the place and I buy frames cheap when I see them at the stores in different colors, silver and black and matte, uh, a matte one that's not shiny, shiny ones, and different ones that might be more ornate. So uh, it's important as we're thinking about maybe framing artwork that the child is part of that selection process. Do you want to put a frame on your piece or do you want to just keep it in our storage box? I have a big box of all the work that doesn't get framed. Kids know that I haven't made it magically disappear. Uh, in the garbage pail or under a bed that will never be seen, they get to sort through it. It's their little gallery. And the pieces that we get to frame, they help decide that together. We look in through my box of different size frames. And even if a frame doesn't fit it, we can get to see uh, if we'd like to cut it up and make it a smaller, zooming in on a certain part of the picture. Or if we want to get a big frame and we want to put our work in the frame. A lot of times I'll rotate and there'll be one frame in the hallway and the child gets to pick each month a new piece of artwork. So it's a rotating gallery. It works really well and children look forward to making a new piece that they can frame. Anyway, don't forget the refrigerator and those magnets. Fill your house with your children's artwork. They'll feel valued as a creator, as a thinker, and as an artist. So keep a box. Let them be part of that selection process. It's important that they like the piece. I know that you're going to love it too, but make sure that they talk about it. Right on the back of the piece, I keep post-its nearby as they're making it. I know that this one was made by Chelsea when she was six, and it's her journey underwater when she went on vacation with Grandma. So there we go. I have the narrative and the meaning attached to this. So years later, we'll have the story behind the artwork. Value your child's artwork. <laughs>